And I fell off my stool. It's a good start. Hello, welcome to another video. Um, we've not really done one of these for a while. Um, just been very, very busy, which is a good thing, um, obviously. But it has just left me very limited time to kind of be able to do any YouTube stuff, which I really enjoy doing. It's quite a nice process and it's, um, it's fun to make them. So I do enjoy putting these videos together and hopefully someone does learn something from it or, you know, sees something that they've not tried before and, and gives that a go. So yeah, it is quite a fun thing to do when I have the time to do them. So this shot is of Everly Pregnant Brothers, um, a Sheffield band. They have a new singer, so we needed to get some more press shots and promo shots and you kind of, you know, good old band photos to announce the new lineup. Um, so we went down to their studio where they rehearse and did some in the studio, which we'll show, and then some outside and then got some good shots, really. Um, this is the one that I really like that we are in Photoshop with. Now the composition of this is great, however, one person, Bales, is not looking at the camera. But because this is shot on a tripod and the lighting is pretty much all the same all the time because we were using, you know, same settings on the lighting and there were quick shots in between each other. Um, the, the one underneath is fine, but I'm not too happy with kind of what everybody else is doing. So when you're in a situation where you kind of have something like this where it's on a tripod and there's not much movement or there's very little movement you can you can do some bit of editing just to kind of get it where you want it to be so as i like everybody else in here just he's got his eyes closed we're going to mask him out and paint him out from the layer underneath because that looks quite good so we're going to select the layer that we're going to work on so that we're going to remove him from to reveal the one underneath and click on the mask button which gives you this white box next to it so the next thing we we'll just make sure we've got our brush selected nice soft brush can be whatever size you want depending on how much you're going to be editing capacities around 100 percent flow around 39 just so it's nice and smooth and it's not too harsh or too obvious that you've you know photoshopped someone in or out of a picture and then just make sure that the black is the foreground color um, this will then remove whatever's on there so white will replace and black removes basically so we'll just get our brush and it's really is as simple as just painting over him to bring out the layer that's underneath we can be quite easy with it because there's not much I want to change just want to get a little bit of I don't want to get too much more of like everybody else in there so I think I might have just caught somebody else so quick command Z just to get that back just because we were bringing like Pete's like two hands then basically for that so this is a lot better the lighting still fairly fairly even with him we've got him into the shot it's very you know subtle it's not obvious that there's two people in there um, and then we're gonna expand this or we're gonna export this even into Lightroom, just where I'm gonna, I like to do my main bits of work there. There isn't that much you wanna do, I really like the colors of it anyway, it's nice and warm. Um, everyone's kind of evenly lit, even though they're in this sort of dark um, kind of alleyway, I do quite like it. So we'll export this out, just as a JPEG will be fine for the purposes of this video. Uh, we'll just name it. And then we're going to bring it in to Lightroom and then just see if there's any other tweaks in there or there's any filters or any sort of presets that we use that we want to put on there. I don't think there will be because it's quite a nice image as it is. I might just lift the blacks a bit and I'm going to do it on the curve because I quite like the sort of muted image that you get when you lift the shadows out a little bit. There's something quite like about that. I might just raise the highlights a touch. But that's pretty much it. There isn't really much I wanted to do with it. It's perfectly serviceable as a, as a shot for sort of social media and things like that. I might just tweak the lines because it's not as straight as I wanted it to be. So just a quick tweak just to get us of a nice straight shot. Um, yeah, quite like it. It's quite nice to shoot with bands like on location. Obviously, I do that in the studio quite a bit. But um, yeah, quite happy with that and the rest of them as well, which we'll put in at the end of the video. 
Um, so yeah, obviously check out Everly Pregnant Brothers if you haven't already. I'm sure you will have heard of them, especially if you're from Sheffield or you go to Tramlines, you will have definitely seen these guys play on the main stage and get all the crowd going. Um, great band, um, enjoyable to watch and great songs as well. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking by and still being here, even though I've not posted for a couple of weeks. Um, just things kind of get get a bit uh, we get a bit busy sometimes and it's um, finding the time to do it and then when you do have a minute you normally you know you need a bit of recovery and you need to reset a little bit so I will try and uh, make that time more available to get to get on these and, and do a few more and other things you know open to other things if anyone wants to see anything specifically about the studio or if anyone wants a technique or anyone has seen a shot that they've likes that's either on my instagram uh, which is at rob nicholson or if you're looking at, at the pedalo instagram and you've ever seen anything on there and you kind of wanted to kind of wondered how we got that shot or how it's been edited then yep let me know and we'll put something together for that uh but that's it thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one